Hello gamers! Demonetization is the single biggest problem that planet Earth is dealing with right now. Years of war could be destroyed with a simple color change, and 3 billion people die from demonetization every day. Bruh. Some creators can say and do all kinds of sh and they get to be monetized, there's no problem, and then there's people like me, where no matter what I put out there, I get demonetized. But what if I told you that there's a cure, a secret loophole that'll make you forget that this world even exists? After doing intense experiments, we were able to turn hundreds of demonetized clips into completely clean, family-friendly Christian videos. And if you listen carefully and pay attention to everything I'm about to show you right now, you too can kiss those yellow piss icons goodbye forever. We all know that YouTube is very secret about this stuff, but I promise you, there's hope. I'll teach you a way to scan your video and detect any problem with it before it even goes public. This is sensitive information that could set YouTube headquarters on fire. And you get to see an actual, real-time footage of how YouTube bots scan your video and how you can take advantage of that. Also, if you're not a YouTuber and you're just an average, dumb viewer, you get to see the struggles we deal with as creators to provide you with your daily dose of cancerous memes. Bruh. I've never been more excited in my life. Let's do this. When a video is showing the yellow icon, it means that YouTube's bot, let's call it Susanios, has found a problem with it, right? Now to solve this, most people will tell you to stop saying freak, stop talking about controversial topics, or maybe don't include any of the words that Nerd City told you about. But what if you tried all of those things and it's still not working? What if you tried clicking that useless human review button over and over, but it all just feels doomed? That's because everybody is focusing on what you can't say, and we forget about the real monster, what you can't show. That's why I want to teach you how to analyze both audio and video, so we can all stop losing thousands of dollars on those piss icons. This could get complicated, so I need you to focus. It's important to understand that Susanio's hearing is not that advanced, because we have different languages, accents, and most importantly, human context is incredibly hard for a bot to decipher. The problem isn't that language is messy. Computers can cope with messy. Hey, they can pretty much solve captures better than humans these days. The problem is that language relies on intent, on shared secrets, on group identity, and on hidden knowledge. Machine translation is a useful tool, don't get me wrong, but trying to get a machine to translate better than a human is... a brave idea. But still, Susanna's language skills have reached an impressive level, so we still want to make sure your audio is clean first. Here's what you need to do. Upload your video with nothing but black screen. Make it unlisted and wait for at least 10 minutes to see if Susanius is bothered by it. In most cases, nothing will happen. But if it turned yellow, your best option is to go back and bleep f sh or gamers or any other naughty words that make Susanius angry. If you're sure you didn't say anything naughty but still getting that yellow icon, it's time to move for stage 2. This is the hardest part, making sure the video is clean. Cause like I said, Susanna's hearing might not be that good, but her eyes bro, her eyes are better than an eagle. She knows whether or not this is a tree or a wee wee. That's scary man. Now the real problem is, you don't know what's causing this yellow color. Susanna's is like your girlfriend. She's always mad at you and when you ask her what's the problem, you don't get an answer. So how can you know what oopsie you made? Here's how. You need to cut your video into 30 second chunks with your editing software. Upload each piece separately and see which chunks will bother Susanius. By doing this, we're minimizing the damage to certain areas only. Then we can play the detective game on an easier difficulty. But still, how can we know what went wrong in those yellow chunks? If only there was a website where you can upload your footage and see what's bothering Susanius. Well, you're in for a treat, boys. There's a website called Cloud Vision, and it's actually the official Google site. It's one of the most powerful hidden gems in the universe. Trust me, behind those walls is where Susanius herself is hiding. If you wanna get scared, just upload any image and the AI will describe it with nightmare-inducing accuracy. 
I got chills when I first tried it, man. But the scariest part is the safe search tab. Pay attention to the adult and violence bars. If they were filled, prepare to get some spanking from Susanios. And this is where it gets really interesting. You can actually start to predict different shots. So it literally goes through every frame of your video and creates uh, the same thing that happened in, in uh, Cloud Vision and starts to label and put what the video is actually about in visual form. So right here in this specific shot of Mr. Beast, um, you can see that the, uh, the keyword grocery store is 95% uh, positive that that's what it is and that it's food and parking lot. These keywords right here are really, really, really important. Obviously, uploading each frame and making sure these bars are low will take forever. So here's how you fix that with a practical example that summarizes everything you've learned so far. Last month, we made a nine minute video about Joe Rogan, but we kept getting pissed on with those yellow signs. We were pleading Susanios day and night just to know why she was punishing us. So we split the video into small chunks and played the detective game. What's making those chunks yellow? After uploading a lot of screenshots to Cloud Vision, we figured it out. Lo and behold, three clips were making Susanios mad. Joe Rogan licking his lips, Joe Rogan spreading his legs, and Joe Rogan holding a bow and arrow. Apparently, this is too graphic for Susanios. History channels have had to band together and remake YouTube on their own, because even their educational content is getting age-restricted by these bots. No wonder why history channels are struggling with demonetization issues. I wonder what they show in their videos. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'll be real with you. This whole method sucks a fat one. We wasted two days on Rogan's video, replacing footage, re-rendering, and re-uploading just to figure out what's bothering Susanios. And worse, this solution doesn't always work. Because sometimes when I upload a video on Listed, it won't turn yellow until it's public. And once it's public, say goodbye to all this flexibility. You become crippled with useless options. And I wish I could request a manual review and actually have a human watch my video. Because I'm sure if they did, they'd be like, hey, this is just alright. It's just a guy making a video about a video game. It makes me really sad to see the content, the platform move in this direction. Seriously, you can still tell that it's completely ruined my mental state. That's why I saved the best surprise for last. We have the ultimate solution that could literally satisfy Zuzanios forever. If Team YouTube is watching, listen to this carefully. You won't believe how simple and effective this solution is. In 2030, future YouTubers will watch this video and laugh at how pathetic we were. The perfect fix was right there all along. And the manual review button is no longer available in 2030 because the new system has become so good that nobody is using that button anymore. Are you ready to hear about this perfect system? Okay, here we go. A creator uploads a video unlisted. Susanios scans the video and tell him exactly what's bothering her. The creator goes back replaces those parts and re-uploads the video. Susanios rechecks it, give him the green light, and finally, the creator can hit publish confidently. In this YouTube utopia, we forgot what demonetization means. Because it turns out, hiring tens of thousands of human reviewers is pointless when every creator knows the line. And the best part about it, Susanios doesn't have to give specific answers to why some parts were yellow, she just provides creators timestamps, and it's up to them to figure out why. It's a perfect balance that lets YouTube keep its secrecy and prevent bad actors, but at the same time, it gives the creator some comfort, because he can pinpoint the mistakes himself. He knows his content better than any human reviewer YouTube could hire. Look, if when you get on TV, you have a relationship with standards and practices and you can call up and you can say, hey, this is what my video is gonna look like. And they tell you, hey, at 41 minutes, you have this in here. They're not gonna like that. Uh, you're gonna have some problems here. Take that out, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. YouTubers need that. I'm sure that we can use current technology to teach robots to teach us what videos are okay to watch and make. 
or at least what videos are least likely to be canceled on Twitter. If this is gonna continue to be a thing, if it's not just about AdSense, if it's, if it's about views themselves, YouTube needs a way to basically make creators learn because just spinning your wheels forever is not an option. As a cherry on top, creators won't repeat their mistakes. Advertisers will be happy to promote their products on this family-friendly Christian website and everybody will live happily ever after. Hold up, we can't wait for 2030. This is an urgent problem and we need to do something right now. I wish it was just about money, but it's way bigger than that. When creators say, YouTube is shutting down my channel, this may seem clickbait, but it's a genuine cry for help. The extreme paranoia that we creators get from the unknown rules is extremely draining. There's nothing else I can do. I just keep making videos and I make videos and I make videos and I make videos and I make videos. And it just gets worse and worse and worse and worse. There's no one from YouTube I can talk to about it. And it's like, dude, I'm a pretty, I have a pretty strong mental fortitude, believe it or not. But it, like, you do it over and over and over and over again with no change in result. When I get that sign, it doesn't only feel that I missed the paycheck, it honestly feels that the whole universe is conspiring against me to shut me down. And I wish, I wish Susanius could understand how painful this feels. Every creator started their account because they found joy in this platform. They could express themselves without any limits. And the reason we're frustrated isn't because YouTube is inherently bad. It's because the solution is so simple, yet nobody is hearing our voices. How hard do you want us to scream? If all you want is just those happy fun time Fortnite videos. If all you want is truly just to increase my daily dosage of Asmongold, my prescribed daily dose. <laughs> if that's the way you want to do with a platform, that's what you want to do. And you'll just lose people like me. A couple of months ago, YouTube forced companies to put timestamps on copyright claims. And that simple fix was a huge victory royale. So please, we need a similar thing for demonetization. We cannot go gentle into that good night. We need to scream louder until somebody hears us. I vividly remember the moment I was in my mother's womb. I swear to God, I was watching YouTube and I got inspired by just average people pulling themselves out from the darkest places and turning their lives around using nothing but this beautiful platform. I started crying and I promised myself after labor, I will start a channel and follow my dreams. Only to find out that nowadays, Susanios is always angry at me. But I love this platform so much I refuse to quit. And we encourage you to download those beautiful wallpapers. They're a great way to remember that we're a bunch of strugglers struggling together. 20 high quality wallpapers for mobile and desktop. You can visit my Patreon, download them, and they're immediately yours for absolutely free. Look at how cute they are. Tell me that those aren't the most gorgeous wallpapers you've ever seen in your life. I'm making them free for the next 30 days only. Then they're gone forever. So click the link in the description and they're immediately yours. Paying for these wallpapers is completely optional. But if you decided to pay, we have tons of exciting animations coming up. And I'd love to honor your contributions by putting your name in them. Also, you get to join a private Discord where you can discuss highly intellectual topics and make some good friends too. Anyway, we really hope YouTube sees our suggestions. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. Hang in there and I appreciate you all.